Assalamu alaikum, my name is Muhammad Sajid and you're watching my YouTube channel and in this today's video we will study JavaScript variables okay guys um, variables are how we define in JavaScript okay there are four ways using this var keyword using let or using constant const or using nothing okay so now we see in more detail mm -hmm. what are variables as you know variables are containers for storing data or values so here we have an example where we have three variables x y and z and declared with the var keyword yeah. so var x is equal to 5 means we have defined or declared declared is the right word yeah so we have when we say var x it means we have defined or declared a variable and when we say equal to 5 we have assigned 5 value to this variable similarly when we say var y we have assigned so value 6 to a variable y and we have declared it then we do summation x plus y and the result is assigned to this variable z okay so let's see this example here we have uh, three variables and 5 plus 6 maybe I can make make a little change here so 6 plus 6 so answer in this paragraph uh, tag should be 12 and we are using document dot get element by id demo dot inner html uh, javascript this uh, method to output the value okay um, i will be running the code again and this time you see the answer has changed it has become 12 okay right so let's move forward we have seen how to define a variable there are as we have seen three major keywords var let and const okay let's move forward so now we are defining the same variables with the keyword let okay so we have declared three variables using let before we declared with var and let's see the result see here we have the same result either by using let or by using or keywords right <clears throat> now in this example x y or z are undeclared variables yeah we didn't use either var or let or const at the start of them so here we'll see what happens we have x is equal to 5, y is equal to 6, and then we sum it's 11, and answer is printed out to be 11 here. So, what does it mean? We can have undeclared variables as uh, also possible in JavaScript. From all the examples above, you can guess that x stores the value 5, y stores the value 6, and z stores the value 11. So, these variables are actually containers to store some values so here are some important points when to use javascript var keyword to uh, declare variables always declare javascript variables with var let or const yeah the var keyword is used in all javascript code from 1995 to 2015 so it means very old way to declare variables and now it's been like after 2015 two new keywords have been introduced they are let and const and they are now used for javascript variables declaration 
But if you want your code to run older browser, of course you have to use var because older browsers they don't know mm, let and const keywords. Next we look when to use JavaScript const const yeah. Uh, const so if you want a general rule always declare variables with const and if you think the value of variable can change then use let so const is constant and let you can use define variables with varying you know uh, uh, values okay so here in this example we have declared a variable const uh, sorry price one and mention it as cost and second price two with six in cost let total is equal to price one and two is added and answer is 11 yeah okay so when the output is 11 here the total is variable is not constant it can change based on the uh, whatever values are assigned to them but this price 1 and 2 will remain constant they cannot be changed okay so let's move forward okay in algebra you know we have uh, x is equal to 5 y is equal to 6 we assign values to variables but here is some uh, okay just like algebra variables are used in expressions we can add them up yeah or do maybe some other arithmetic operation as well so next we see javascript identifiers okay so javascript variables must be identified with names and these unique names are called identifiers okay so before we learned important term which was declaration of the variable and now we are learning new word identifier identifiers are uh, names of the variables identify uh, how to i mean give names to different variables they can be short name like x y or more descriptive names like age sum total volume etc okay and these uh, identifier or names must be always begin with the letter and they can contain letter digits underscore and dollar signs names can also begin with dollar and underscore but these are not used in our this course here we don't uh, prefer this names are case sensitive yeah small y and capital y are different variables and then never we cannot use reserved word or keywords as uh, identifiers yeah they cannot be used as the name so javascript identifiers are case sensitive keep remember this point okay now we look at assignment operator in javascript the equal sign is an assignment operator not equal to operator keep remember this is different from algebra the following does not make sense in algebra see here this in mathematics is wrong we cannot just have something equal to uh, the same thing plus add something yeah? so this is assignment this equal to is an assignment operator not like it will perform this uh, I mean like algebra so in JavaScript it makes sense I mean but in JavaScript we have different concept than algebra where what we are doing we are assigning value existing value of x plus 5 and then assigning to the same variable so this is possible in uh, uh, javascript but not in algebra okay so the equal to operator is written like this in javascript so whenever you have to do some uh, comparison we will use equal equal sign not just single equal sign single equal is used for assignment so these two are different operator one is assignment operator and one is this comparison operator okay now we look at data types in javascript we have uh, many uh, data types for example our variables can hold numbers like 100 and text like uh, john for example 
in programming text values are called text strings okay um, we call them text strings and javascript can handle many types of data but for, as we move forward in our course we will learn more types but uh, for now just can uh, think we, we can assume that there are numbers and text strings are written inside double or single course numbers written without course keep remember this if you put a number in course it will be treated as text or string see here in this example we have a constant pi 3.14 a variable person with the name john and let answer is equal to yes i am so we have here a string strings are written with codes and numbers are written without codes see here then we are uh, doing what assigning this to this paragraph demo uh, we have first printed this pi then person uh, a k person is over this variable and then answer this yes i am this uh, variable so here is the output on the right side you can see 3.14 john doe and yes i am so this is the output of these uh, variables and text is in the codes either single or double while numbers are without codes okay but if you put codes around numbers they become text okay declaring a javascript variable creating a variable in javascript is called declaring a variable as we have learned before and we can use either var or let keywords yeah after declaration the variable has no value technically it is undefined to assign a value to the variable use equal sign yeah this very simple concept okay and you, you can also assign a value to the variable when you declare it straight away let car name is equal to volvo so in the example below we create a variable called uh, car name and assign the value volvo to it then we output the value inside html okay this okay see here we have this volvo assigned to this car name variable then we have printed this car name which is volvo so this kind of example we have seen many times before okay so it's good programming practice to declare r variables at the beginning of a script so as long as you can do it please follow this uh, advice it's good programming practice okay also we can define many variables with one let statement like let person is equal to this car name is this and price is this we have defined three variables with one let statement this is also possible and it works yeah so here we have these three variables and the, but we are printing car name which is volvo and which is coming here okay if i change it to price here now what happens see here the output has changed to 200 it means all variables are working properly okay and a declaration can span multiple lines but we need to uh, separate them with the help of comma see here we have three variables that is in front of only first variable but they are on multiple lines but separation with the help of comma so this will also work value undefined in computer programs var variables are often declared without a value okay first we define them and later somewhere wherever we need we can assign value the value can be something that has to be calculated or something that will be provided later like user input okay the variable declared without a value will have the value undefined for example here we have defined a variable name car name and we have not assigned any value to it so it is considered as undefined the variable call name car name will have value undefined after execution of this statement you see here we have defined a variable but we have not given it any name uh, any value 
and here when we are printing it the output is undefined but if I assign something to it for example Toyota the output changes to Toyota right so this is how these variables work with when some value is assigned or when some value is not assigned to it okay now the con next concept which we are going to see is redeclaring javascript variables so guys if we redeclare javascript variable with var it will not lose its value for example here i defined a variable var car name and assigned it the value volvo and then i redefined it and if because i have defined it with the var this thing will not have any bad impact on my code the value of car name will remain Volvo but <clears throat> we cannot redeclare a variable declared with let or constant this will not work so it means in old JavaScript we when like we had only var uh, keyword to define variables we could use it but now it's not possible yeah now let's look at JavaScript arithmetic as you know here we have variable X and we are assigning 5 plus 2 plus 3 this will be added and assigned to X yeah similarly we can add uh, uh, strings as well and this separation is called concatenation so here you know we have word John and Doe and then we have a space and two plus signs and it will combine it into John Doe. See here. See here. We have assigned John Doe to variable X and then printed it. It has printed this name. Okay. So see here in this example, let X is equal to five plus two plus three, but five is with double quotes. So when something is with double quotes, when it's a number, it is converted to text. So what will happen? The answer will be 5 5 see here sorry uh, uh, yep yeah, yeah 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 yes because this is one uh, text so when we are adding it it becomes 5 2 3 it's not uh, adding these two things are not adding okay if you put a number in a quote, the rest of the numbers will be treated as strings and concatenated. So this is an important point. In similar as we just saw in this example, what happened? It didn't add two plus three. What happened? The answer was not five five. It has done what? It has in if in, in one arithmetic statement or calculation. If we convert one number to text the other will be treated as text as uh, well okay so now we look at this example what's going to happen here oh, we are converting the last number to uh, quotes but first two numbers are not without quotes and they are added to 5 5 so now we got different results yeah so if you put a number in a quote and at the start the rest of the numbers will be treated as string and concatenated but in this one if you put a number with the quote later on the initial numbers will be added yeah okay so similar now let's retry this one if I remove this quote what's my answer the answer is 10 but if I like put a quote around two, the answer is two, three, five, yeah, like this. So it has impact where we put the double quotes. If I put around three, what will happen? Same result, two, three, five. But if I put double quotes around the last uh, number what's going to happen the answer changes to 5 5 I think this 
concept is clear to you now we see dollar sign what's the importance of dollar sign since javascript treats dollar sign as a letter so identifiers containing dollar are valid variables variable name see here let dollar sign is equal to hello world three uh, dollar sign is equal to two dollar my money is equal to five yep see execution here we have two five and okay and we are adding these two numbers and the answer is seven it means even if we use only dollar signs they are considered as identifiers or variable names okay but using dollar is not very common in javascript keep remember this but in certain other libraries like jquery they are used in the main function so if you study jquery you will uh, like uh, be more clear about this usage uh, there okay but it's not good uh, sign to a uh, good to common practice to use dollar sign as uh, variable names or identifiers also we can use underscore as identifier because it is also treated as a letter okay for example here underscore last name underscore x underscore hundred these are all valid variable names we are adding them and they are working fine but again to use underscore is also not very common practice in javascript okay so generally where they used pro professional programming use them in um, private or hidden variables as an alias so guys uh, i will uh, wrap up my video here in this video we have learned many 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 concepts about uh, javascript uh, variables we have studied uh, usage of underscore dollar sign uh, arithmetic operations on variables and yeah, we have seen if we redeclare a javascript variable when what happens okay what are undefined value undefined variables we can define many variables with one statement okay javascript how we declare them how, what are the data types we have seen numbers and text for now assignment operators right identifiers and uh, okay when to use constant uh, keyword to declare variables uh, and also we have seen some history of var and let okay and that's it okay so keep remember the the important three keywords here var latin cost they are extensively used in javascript programming so these things will be more clear to you as we move on in our course and i will uh, close my video here uh if you like the video please share with your other friends colleagues and uh, subscribe my channel i'll be back with another video very soon till that time allah hafiz and bye for now